Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars World of Public video and today we're going to be looking at some of the new cartel market sales we have. Um, now I don't normally just, I mean I used to do a lot of videos on cartel market sales but this time some of the new cartel market sales I think definitely warrant a video and the first thing that pops out right away is the Gemini packs are going on blowout sale. So for those of you who might not know, blowout sales were something that initially started happening with the Alliance packs and they were basically put on 55% off. Now those cartel packs initially cost 5400 cartel coins so when they went on blowout sale they only cost 2700 cartel coins so that was a very awesome deal it was like one of the best things you could pick up off the cartel market with the gemini packs these are going on blowout sale for the same amount 55 percent off but they're actually still cost 4050 cartel coins and that's because uh the initial price according to Bioware was actually 9,000 cartel coins and it's something that's very interesting that you see with a lot of these things like you always see them on a perpetual sale for example these are always 30% off these are always 10% off and um, and there's really no reasoning behind that I mean Bioware said for example the Gemini packs 9,000 cartel coins but never ever have the Gemini packs ever actually cost 9,000 cartel coins but nonetheless they're, they're going on blowout sale and that does mean they're going to be removed next week and I think what they're basically doing is they're making room for the new oppressor pack that is going to be available. So if we jump here, we can see that there is one more cartel pack that's going to be released before Knights of the Eternal Throne hits on November 29th. And so my um, assumption is they're going to remove the Gemini packs after one week and then the Oppressor pack will take its place. So that's pretty exciting that we're going to have a new cartel pack next week to open. And this cartel pack looks absolutely awesome. Probably one of the best packs released after Knights of the Fallen Empire. But we'll get into that later. Uh, now the Gemini packs, although they're on blowout sale, they still cost a ton of cartel coins. I mean, they still cost 4,000 cartel coins, which is a ton especially for something that's supposedly supposed to be on blowout sale, but nonetheless, it's a terrible cartel pack to open just in general. Uh, the reasoning being, none of the gold armor sets are good. I mean, no one really cares about the Apex Sovereign armor set, aside from the upper body armor, which looks pretty nice, but, um, but the chances of you getting that are pretty low. Loyal Hadiran's armor set is not very nice. Uh, the silver and bronze stuff is terrible. Uh, the pet's okay, the crystal's awful. The mounts are horrendous. Aside from the Ragebound Monolith, which is obviously an amazing mount, the rest of the stuff is just so terrible, doesn't sell well on the GTN. It's got the Vented Saber, but chances of getting a Platinum item are super low, and you get the picture that this, overall this pack is so bad. It has a ton of this bronze stuff that doesn't sell for anything. These cha emote chairs sell for like 10k and stuff, so it's completely useless. And don't really look at the prices on the GTN because the fact of the matter is this pack was very, very unpopular when it first came out and not a lot of people bought it and opened it, which is why some of the items from the pack are actually selling pretty high on the GTN. But that's just because it's unpopular. I don't think those items, when they get put up for very high prices, actually sell. And, um, and so this is just a pack that I would say definitely stay away from. But the reason I'm actually excited about it is because uh, this, since these Gemini packs are actually going on blowout sale, that does kind of indicate that the rest of these packs will eventually go on blowout sale before they are removed. I thought the blowout sale thing where a pack goes on blowout sale for a week and then it's removed, that was just going to be for the Alliance packs. But it does seem like that's a kind of a new system that Bioware is adopting. That before they remove a cartel pack, they throw it on blowout sale and allow people to have a final chance of getting it at a very low price. And the reason I'm excited about that is because the Battler packs are a very, very amazing cartel pack to open. And if that goes on blowout sale, that's going to be pretty sweet because it only costs 7,020 cartel coins. And so if 55% off of 7,020, uh, just doing some rough math, it's going to be... 3,000 something like 3,100, 3,200 cartel coins, and that's very, very, uh, a very good price to buy a hyper crate app. And so that's going to be pretty awesome. They do only give you 26 cartel packs, but that doesn't really matter. Overall, the battler packs are awesome. Uh, the manipulator pack and the scavenger pack, I would also stay away from those. Those aren't the best cartel packs to open, but the oppressor pack will be pretty awesome. And so those are two cartel packs that are probably going to go on blowout sale at some point in time. And if you have cartel coins or you have a little bit of money you want to spend, I would definitely wait for those to go on blowout sale. Don't waste your money on these Gemini packs. But once again, it, it indicates that trend that all the packs will eventually go on blowout sale, and that's pretty awesome. Okay, aside from that, looking at some of the other sales, the R31718 Kion Blaster. This is actually one of my most favorite blasters in the game. I use it, I dual wield this on my Gunslinger, and I don't play much on my Gunslinger, or put, put videos on it in general, and so that's why maybe some of you guys might not ever might not have ever seen it, but it is one of my most favorite um, blasters, and it looks really awesome in terms of the fact that it looks kind of like a pistol, and with a weapon tuning, it looks even better. And so, um, yeah, the fact that it's 50% off, only costs 250 cartel coins, is a really sweet deal. And if you quickly run and check its price on the GTN, let's see if I can spell this right. As you guys can see, very, very expensive. And um, and so you could probably make quite a few millions of credits if you wanted to pick that up off the cartel market. 
Aside from that, the Cavan Varactyl is 50% off as well, but I still don't think that's way too expensive for just a Varactyl mount. I mean, Varactyls are old news. They were pretty big back uh, many years ago when uh, the Bounty Packs were first released. Uh, everyone then at that point wanted a Varactyl because it was one of the first beast mounts ever released in the game. But nowadays, you don't really see anyone riding one, and they're pretty unpopular in general. So I don't think it's going to sell too well on GTN, and 1,100 Cartel Coins for a Varactyl is uh, pretty expensive. If we just jump on the GTN once again, you could probably pick it up if you want wanted one for yourself, you could probably pick it up for uh, not too expensive of a price, let's see. Uh, right, these are all pets, oh, okay well it's up at 7 million but um, I remember some grassland varactyls and stuff being pretty cheap but I guess those all got bought up or something so it is pretty expensive but overall I don't think um, I don't think it's really worth it. There are no cavern varactyls so you could always try your luck but I would stay away from those. Aside from that do we have any other good sales? Um, Nah, I wouldn't really deal with the appearance options and stuff, but um, but yeah, the fact of the matter is, hold on and wait for some of the better cartel packs to go on blow out sale, because that will be a great time to pick them up. Aside from that, one other thing to note is one of the unlocks, which is the um, character slot, is back up to 600 cartel coins, so I'm going to be monitoring that on, that on the GTN, because I did pick up a few, and I wanted to try to see if they would sell for higher prices, uh, because now that they're not on sale, I would assume that their price would uh, go up on the GTN. So if you look at the character slots now, it's already at 3.7 million, and when the sale was going on, it had dropped as low as 1.9, 1.8 million credits. So if I could sell it at this price, it would be a very nice profit. Anyways, those are the new cartel market sales. Just wanted to quickly talk about them because, as I mentioned, they are pretty exciting, and um, I can't wait for the future ones when really good packs like the Battler pack goes on blowout sale. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.